Hey, what's up guys? Lego Kid here, and today I'm going to be doing a video I haven't done in quite a while, which is a set review video. So, anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing three of the new Lego City Stunts Stunt Bikes that came out this summer, and they're all new from the new Lego City Stunts theme that came out this summer as well. And these sets also came out October 1st, which was um, a little bit ago, a few weeks ago. So, anyways... Today, I'm going to be uh, reviewing the wheelie stunt bike, the demolition stunt bike, and I'm also going to be reviewing the rocket stunt bike as well. So, I sadly wasn't able to pick up all six of the stunt bikes. I was only able to pick up these three for now. Uh, for some reason, LEGO didn't reveal or release the other stunt bikes, which was the selfie stunt bike, the chicken stunt bike, and also the fire stunt bike. I don't know why LEGO didn't release those sets as well, so... When they do get released, I'll make sure to pick those sets up as well. I was going to also review the $30 stunt competition, but I sadly wasn't able to pick that up anytime soon. So I just went ahead and decided to um, just collect these stunt bikes and just review them for right now. So anyways, let's go ahead and take our look at the first stunt bike, which is the wheelie stunt bike. And to be more specific, this here is set number 60296 and still called the Wheelie Stunt Bike. This set contains 14 pieces, one minifigure, one stunt bike, and this set also retails for about $8 in US, just like the other stunt bikes. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. So here is the first motorcycle rider, and I believe she is a character from the LEGO City Adventures TV show. I'm not sure about it, but I don't know her name either. So anyways, first off with her torso print, I believe this is a new print to this set. Well, it is a new print to this set. But either way, I like the design for it with that skull and gunmetal gray as part of the belt. And same thing with a pink and leather jacket. And at the back, there's also some stickers, obviously prints, an eyeball, a smiley face, and others. And she also comes with one of these spikes as part of her uh, shoulder pad. I believe this is my first time ever getting one of these type of pieces before. And she also does come with um, a new type of uh, print design for the leggings or the legs too. And it kind of has that cheetah look on it, you know, in lime green. And she also does come with two facial expressions, one of them being generically happy and the other one... <laughs> Her sticking her tongue out and she does come with one of these hair molds but this time in the color blue and as for her helmet piece here the color itself is not new it came out in the lego city stunt park but the visor piece in purple i believe is new is a new piece but maybe uh to me but not to other lego sets and this minifigure overall looks pretty nice to get in this set and if you wanted to you can however take off her hair piece and replace it oh and replace it with the green motorcycle helmet when she's riding the bike next up for the build we have the purple motorcycle obviously the purple stunt bike so uh basically the motorcycle body is actually based off the uh, dirt bike piece that we've gotten in past years of lego city one of these pieces but this time it's modified a little bit at the front here's a print with skull and crossbones and if you want to, you can take off the body and replace it with another um, motorcycle body piece. And at the back, there's also a clip with uh, some wheels at the back because this is the wheelie stunt bike. And basically, when the motorcycle gets positioned, hold on a second, when the motorcycle gets positioned up like this, that's basically the purpose of the wheel and also keep the motorcycle from falling down on its side when you know it's being rolled so at the back there's also a new flywheel action for the motorcycle and this is actually a new feature for uh lego city in 2021 so i actually like this feature so what you do is you basically do this across the table oh and you just let the motorcycle uh roll away like that and if you have like a lego stunt ramp or something like that from the other stunt sets then you can also use this motorcycle and do all sorts of stunts so i honestly like the design for the motorcycle overall and i like the inclusion of the new flywheel action for these motorcycles here at first i thought it was like one of those pull back um things where you just 
do that and the motorcycle will just go forward but no i guess you have to just um zip it across the table and then you just let it go oh like that so um anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next set sorry but before we move on here is what the motorcyclist looks like when she is um basically on the motorcycle riding it yeah that's pretty much it Next up, we have set number 60297, and also called the Demolition Stunt Bike. Now, this stunt bike retails for $8 in US, just like the other ones. This set also contains 12 pieces. This set includes one minifigure, which I don't know the name of. He's probably in the LEGO City Adventures TV show. And this set also includes one motorcycle, one motorcycle helmet, and yeah, that's all I have to say about this set so far. So let's go ahead and move on to the minifigure. Next up, we have the Demolition Motorcyclist, and this minifigure probably appears in the LEGO City TV show as well, but I don't know the name for him as of the moment. But anyways, for this minifigure in general, he only appears in this set as of the moment too. He may come out in future LEGO City sets. But anyways, first off with his new torso print, at the front here is his um, chest padding, and at the back here is the back padding, all in brown, and he comes with that um, caution tape belt. And here he comes with those spiky shoulder pads in brown as well, and also the leg printing is just plain orange. So for his facial expressions, the first one is where he like he looks like a daredevil, and the other one <laughs> is where he kind of has that regret to his look, and also where he got pretty bruised up when he was doing tons of different stunts. And here is his new hair piece, I believe. Oh, I believe this hair piece is new to this year as a new mold. It could be, it could have been appeared in different sets in the past, I'm not sure, but this time it's colored in black. And finally, here is his motorcycle helmet, and the visor piece is new, and it's also printed. You can just do that. And here is what the motorcycle helmet looks like when it's put on the stunt motorcyclist. Next up, we have the build for the demolition stunt bike, and this bike has pretty much the same flywheel feature as the other stunt bikes that come out in this wave of LEGO City. But anyways, first off, we have one of these new motorcycle body pieces, if you know what I'm talking about. One of these newer molds, and it's actually based off one of these other newer molds for the motorcycle piece. It came out last year, but anyways, at the front, we have a print on a headlamp. The headlamp itself is broken, and there's duct tape over it representing um, demolition to the bike itself. And this all is one piece. I forgot to mention that before. Well, except for the front tire. The back tire is one piece already connected to the main body piece itself. I'll attach that back on there along with the handlebar, and that's pretty much it. And like I said before, this has the same flywheel action like that and if you just roll it across the table very fast the flywheel will just go on its own now that we're done with this set let's go ahead and move on to the final stunt bike for this review and finally we have set number 60298 and also called the rocket stunt bike so this stunt bike retails for eight dollars yet again in the u.s this set contains 14 pieces. It has one minifigure and one motorcycle. So let's go ahead and start off with the minifigure. Moving on to the final minifigure, this Rocket Racer is actually a callback to an original LEGO theme that was released a long, long time ago. So this guy is actually based off the Rocket Racer's theme. And at the front, he has that Rocket Racer's logo slash print on his vest. One of the sleeves is red and the other is blue. At the back, it's just plain white with a um, strip going down the back as well. And the leg printing is also plain white too. The face printing is not new. It first got introduced in a minifigure series in 2018, I believe. The hair piece is also not new. It came out in a minifigure series as well. But the helmet piece is new, and this print for the helmet is also new to the set for right now. Same thing goes with the um, translucent red visor piece. And I forgot to mention this before, but the minifigure doesn't come with any other facial expressions. 
This is the only print he comes with, and here is what he looks like when the helmet is put on his head. Moving on to the Rocket Racer motorcycle, this motorcycle has the same feature as all of the other dirt bikes with the flywheel action at the back, and it just spins like that. And at the back, there's also one of these flame pieces attached onto one of these clips just to give the bike a little more detailing. And this body piece is actually a little bit different mold. It's actually based off one of these motorcycle body pieces from 2014. It's just molded a little differently because of the new bike style. And at the front, here's just a regular orange tire. And here's the handlebar, which you can take off and also clip back on if you want to. And at the sides, there's also a Rocket Racers logo printed on. It's not a sticker. And same thing goes with the other side as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it with all of the motorcycle builds. I mean, they're very basic because they're literally just motorcycle sets. I mean, they only have motorcycle builds in them. But the same feature is awesome with the flywheel action. You can perform different stunts. It's really awesome. Oh, the handlebar came off. But anyways... It's still awesome to have that flywheel action at the back of a motorcycle. It's it's very awesome, and I can't wait to see this in action when I get some more stunt sets for LEGO City. So now that we're finally done with all of the sets, let's go ahead and move on with the box art and the final verdict. And all three motorcycle sets have pretty much the same uh, box size. And at the front, here's all the set information with the same boxes. And here's also the new Stunts logo, which I don't believe LEGO City has ever had a separate sub-theme with a logo printed like this. I mean, this is probably the first sub-theme we've ever gotten Stunts. But anyways, at the back here is some action shots along with a barcode to scan to check out Stunts on LEGO.com. Same thing here, and same thing on the third box. And in case if you guys are wondering what the instruction booklet looks like, here it is. It's pretty much one of those poly bag instruction booklets. There's no ads or anything like that. Only this advertisement at the very back, which is a um, survey for some to win on lego.com, I guess. So overall, these stun sets are actually pretty awesome. I love the flywheel actions at the back of each of these motorcycles, and I can't wait to see those flywheel stunt action features in action when I get some more of those stunt sets. I tried getting some more, but I couldn't. I could only get these three motorcycle sets for right now. When the other motorcycle sets come out, I'll make sure to try to get those as soon as possible. But either way, that is pretty much it for all I have to say based on all three of these stunt sets for now. So anyways, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and like the video as well. So anyways, that is it from me, and I will see you all next time.